Recently, I've been asked a lot of questions about the death process and also something called immortal soul traps. All right, soul traps. I died myself after a bad accident a few years ago. I died a couple times on the way to the hospital, so I had a very rare, real near-death experience. All right, at the point of death, it's a lot like when we come out of a dream. You're kind of out of it for just a minute. You're groggy for just a minute. That happens to us, that state of consciousness, before we kind of merge into the universe, what they call the Akashic Records, the record of space and time. Before we merge into that, we're out of it for just a moment, and at that time, there are other entities that can come for us and attempt to trick us with things like a false light and attract us to that and then wipe us clean with hypnotic suggestion and send us back to Earth on a mission that we're unaware of devoid of our soul memories. That is a real problem. We have to understand that the universe is predatorial, just like the ecosystems we see on Earth. But there's a way to get past this. That isn't the end of it. Knowledge is the first power, is the first secret. Now that you're talking about it now and thinking about it, that's the first step. When you get out of the body, the next step is to remember there are two types of light. There's one light that is the living light, that's like the light of the sun. The other is like the moon, the light of the moon, which is more of a cold light. Use your discernment to go towards the living light, not to the light that may just be there to distract you, all right? I want everyone to know, a lot of people have said, oh, how can I get past this? I'm just gonna get re recycled again, again, and again, and this is a prison planet, I don't want that. There is a way past that, and what I wanna emphasize is the intent of will. That is how the universe has been created. Our creator created the universe through intent of will. He created us through the intent of will. Use that to get past these soul traps. And how you do that is by focusing and merging yourself with pure God consciousness, creator consciousness, whatever words we want to use across every culture, our source. Merge yourself with that on the love frequency and beat these traps in that way. We also need to be aware that we have several guardians and different types of angels and seraphim that are here to assist us during time of transition. I saw some myself. I saw what we would call super nanofram, all right? Super angels, they were higher. I think any more love would have been too much. So we have ways to get past this, all right? And I want everybody to maintain the intent of will, but be aware of soul traps and be aware of some things that can happen in the lifetime right now where we're still here in the third dimension which is these negative forces will try to begin to manifest as negative thought forms they start there and then they begin to use our own pineal gland as a wormhole to manifest into the third dimension the people are seeing the hat man right now the hood man all these things all right be aware of the soul traps be aware of them manifesting as negative thought forms and create a love consciousness and merge with the Creator as much as you can. So there is a way to get past this. It doesn't have to be as negative as I'm seeing everybody thinking as when you come to the realization of this. But also, I'll emphasize this. Please learn techniques that are how to protect yourself with that love frequency.